It's probably one of the many hidden gems on the Play Store. My name is Ash, and this is my review of Swipe Status Bar, starting now. Say you're in a full screen app such as a game, a book, or even the browser in this case. Say you got a text message, and now you want to look at it. Well, now you got to pause the game, or pause whatever you're doing, go home, swipe that thing down, look at the message, time says hi, okay. Go back up, open up the app again. You got interrupted. It's annoying. I know how that feels. I mean, when I used to play play Asphalt, I'd always get these random messages, and then I could ignore them, but what if it's important? I'd go home, I'd look at the message, and be something stupid like, hi, or what's up, go back to the game, unpause it, continue playing, and then I'd lose every ounce of focus that I had, and crash, and then lose the race, which would always piss me off. But what if I didn't have to do that? Say Bob sends you a text. To look at it, instead of going home, you could just swipe down and reveal the notification bar. And then look at the text, swipe it back up, didn't, have, didn't even have to leave the app. What if you could do that? How much better would that be? It's all done thanks to an app called Swipe Status Bar. Let's take a look at the many features that this app comes with. Keep in mind that this is a free app, and it's outrageous how many features it comes with. So first of all, you got enable the swipe status bar, and you can set start it on boot, so you don't have to keep going into the app and enabling it. There's vibration feedback, and you can select how strong you want it, if you want it to like knock your hand or something or just give you a light jolt multi-touch I mean right now you just swipe down with one finger you could do it with two if that's what you want enable the quick settings panel which is for Android 4.2.2 and up I guess and there's a bunch of other features you could try it um the blue thing up here is how big it is and basically what you got to put your finger on to uh, bring it down. And this, you can make it bigger and smaller. Yeah, got it. I like to keep it full screen. Um, you can adjust the sensitivity by making that area where you swipe your finger bigger or smaller. Like to keep that in the middle too. And the position of it. Which is, don't really get that, but you could try it out in this. You could also make it show that, so that um, when you pull the thing down, um, it only shows the status bar. When you go back in to try it, and it only shows the status bar instead of pulling the notification shade down, which I also like better, because it gives you a quick glance at whatever notification that you got, if it's worth looking at or not, at the moment. So, um, again, this is a free app, and the author has included a donate button, which I think is very, um, Considering of him, considering that he put all these features into a free app, I mean, he can make a killing off of this app just by making all these extra features like paid only. I don't want to give anyone any ideas, but uh, it's very considered that the author considered uh, including the donate button. So, I mean, if you like this app, go ahead and donate. I'm not saying that you have to or anything, but if you want to. Go ahead and do that. So that's about it for this review. Um, link to the Play Store in the description. Go ahead and download it. Um, if you're on TouchWiz or TouchWiz or ROM, I don't think you will need that app because um, I think TouchWiz has that built in. Pretty sure. But if you're on an AOSP ROM, then you're probably going to need that. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer whenever I can. Um, give this video a like if it helped you out. And maybe subscribe. I don't know. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye.